Okay, everybody, lesson number five. How about we're almost done? This is the last lesson of the whole patterns and equations unit. Wow. Yeah. So it's the same as lesson number four. You've got that equal sign, and you have to have the balance and the equal parts on both sides of that equal sign. This time, though, instead of addition and subtraction, you're going to be using multiplication and division. Oh, that sounds scary. No, it's not scary. Multiplication and division are just kind of like repeated addition or repeated subtraction. It's just more, more steps. Maybe you can use patterns like counting by twos. Ah. So there's a couple of words that I want to make sure you understand. Um, one of them is factors. I know we talked about that way back in September, October, uh, when we were talking about multiplication and division. That was a long time ago. It was a long time ago, Squeakums. But a factor are the things that you multiply together to equal the number. So, for example, 6 times 2 equals 12. So 6 and 2 are both factors of 12. 12 is the product. Do you remember those words? You can find them in your textbook again if you have trouble with them. Um, but a factor is a number that can be multiplied by another number to get to the answer. Um, so 100% guaranteed, every number has the same two factors. It has the number one as a factor and itself. So you can do one times six equals six. Six is the number, same number as itself, and one, of course, works with every number in the world. Wow. Yeah, yeah one is a pretty cool number. Um, if you're having trouble finding the other numbers, try and find your multiplication table. That'll show you more factors. Or you can use a calculator, pick your number, say it's 24, and try dividing by the numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. See if you can get nice, even answers with no decimal places. Um, and that can help you find the factors as well. But you're going to work through this unit the same way. Draw pictures for yourself. Use Lego pieces, use coins, use all kinds of things uh, if you want to be able to touch and see them. Um, again, page 23 in your textbook goes through nice and slow um, with how an example of a story problem and how you can work through that with your drawings in a few different ways. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And if you get stuck, of course, I'm available to talk with you every morning from 9.30 to 12. We can video time uh, on Microsoft Teams or we can text, email. We can figure that out together. Okay.